Currently, more and more attention is being paid to the trend of turning vehicles into comfortable homes. And I am no exception, I also have a desire to create a home on wheels out of a bus. Although I cannot realize this idea right now, I have already prepared a 3D model with a calculation of materials and cost, which I would be happy to share with you. I have chosen an inexpensive Volkswagen city bus, which is 12 meters long, 2, 5 meters wide, and 3, 2 meters high. Such a bus can be purchased in Poland for three to $8,000 in good condition. The first thing to do is to dismantle the salon down to the very foundation. This is an extremely important stage, as during the operation of the bus, rust or mold may appear at the base, which needs to be eliminated. At this stage, it is quite easy to do, but it will require significant physical effort. Then, all unnecessary parts of the bus need to be dismantled. I won't need these doors and windows, as the entrance to the bus will be located at the front, this will prevent dirt from the street from getting inside and create a convenient layout for the salon. After dismantling, the openings should be covered with sheet metal and secured with rivets. In addition, it is necessary to remove rust and paint all metal parts with anti-corrosion paint. It's time to start painting the bus from the outside. The method shown in the video can be used, covering the windows and wheels with cellophane, however, the quality of the paint job may not be the best. Nevertheless, this is a much cheaper option than sending the bus for a professional paint job. The old insulation needs to be replaced. The thermal imaging camera image clearly shows the areas of the frame where heat loss occurs, and they need to be well insulated. I have decided to use extruded polystyrene with aluminum coating, as it is significantly more efficient than mineral wool. We want to turn the bus into something similar to a thermos, so that it can maintain temperature well. This will save electricity on heating or cooling the cabin and create a comfortable place to be. To eliminate cold bridges from the metal frame, 5 cm thick pieces of extruded polystyrene need to be cut out and laid inside the frame. Then, go over all the joints with foam to create a more airtight insulation. Then lay whole 3 cm thick panels on top. This is how the walls, floor, and ceiling should be insulated. For finishing the walls, floor, and ceiling, plywood or OSB can be used. OSB is cheaper, but its strength is not high. Plywood has much higher strength, but it is more expensive. I chose OSB as it is for rough finishing, and a durable MDF will be installed on top. However, there is a problem, due to the insulation, the window opening has become 3 cm wider, creating a gap. I cut a frame out of particle board to fit the window size, and then inserted curved particle board inside. Of course, you may wonder how to make curved particle board. Here is a brief description of the manufacturing process. First, make cuts at 80% of the material thickness every centimeter on a saw. Then, the wood can be easily bent. Finally, fill all the joints with glue and let it dry in the desired shape. Alternatively, you can simply order the particle board you need in the required size. The prices are not so high that you have to make it yourself. I lay down a foam film with an aluminum coating that helps direct all the thermal energy from the film into the house. Then, I lay down infrared film only in the areas where I will walk. It should not be placed where furniture will be placed, otherwise it will overheat and stop working. I have already used this type of heating in my house, and it has worked very well. The heat is evenly distributed throughout the house. Then, I install a Wi-Fi controlled thermostat. Afterwards, I begin laying down the laminate. I chose a class 33 laminate, which is particularly resistant to scratches and impacts. Laying it down is no more difficult than assembling a Lego set. Then I move on to installing electrical and plumbing systems. On the roof, I install 6 solar panels with a total power of 2 5 kilowatts. This is more than enough for such a house. Inside, I install 10 lithium iron batteries for energy storage and an inverter for charging the batteries. I make sure to securely attach everything to the wall. It's best to install all the utilities in advance to have a ready-made, thought-out project before starting work. This will save me time and money. Now I'm starting to finish the bus. I'll install a cabinet for storing things here. I'll also install a cabinet for other things on the other side. This cabinet is quite easy to make. I model it in the SketchUp program, then get the parts it consists of and order them to be cut. Then I start assembling. I was able to assemble this cabinet myself in two hours, and it cost me eight times less than if I had ordered it. To assemble it, I needed a couple of screwdrivers with different attachments, a ruler, and of course, a clear mind. Even if I make a mistake, for example, if the doors are uneven, they can be easily adjusted in different planes. All the furniture in the house is assembled on the same principle. 
If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments, and I will be happy to answer them. Subscribe to my YouTube channel because it motivates me to create more similar videos. Next, I'll show you non-standard solutions that will help save a lot of money. This glowing strip can easily be attached to any surface and can change its brightness. I highly recommend it for purchase. It is sold on Amazon and I will provide a link in the video description. Automatic blinds. I used a similar solution in my house only for curtains. They can be controlled via phone or remote control. The same link will be about the description of the video. An air conditioner is necessary for comfortable living in the house. I placed the control unit in the bottom compartment of the bus to reduce noise from its operation. The main lighting will be on the ceiling using LED strips, which can be adjusted for brightness. The ceiling can be cut from plastic sheets using a jigsaw or laser cutting can be ordered, which is not expensive. There is an important feature in the house, a heat recovery ventilator, which differs from the air conditioner in that it removes dirty air from the house and takes fresh air from outside. This is basically ventilation, but its main feature is heat retention. I created a compact model of the heat recovery ventilator, conducted numerous tests using it in my home. Its efficiency was 80%. The description includes a link to a video with assembly instructions. The device is very simple, it will take one day to make and the cost will not exceed $50. In such a house, it is better to use sliding doors, they save space and are securely fastened during movement. A ready-made kit for such doors can be purchased on Amazon. As you can see, all the work here is simple and can be done by anyone if they have the desire. As an engineer designer without a construction specialty, I learned everything using YouTube videos and was able to design and build this house. There is a video about this house on my second channel. The important difference between an engineer and a designer is that a designer draws beautifully and does not think about how it will be done, while an engineer puzzles over how to implement the idea. Therefore, it is important to have a clear plan before starting construction. Let's move on to the bathroom and toilet. Everything here is standard except for the toilet. Usually, composting toilets are used, but they are not very convenient to use, so I use a yacht toilet. The principle of its operation is the same as that of a regular toilet in a house, only it uses less water and runs on 12 volts, which is important if you have solar power. For the dirty water from the toilet, bathtub, and sink, I use a 750 liter tank in the base of the bus, and on the other side, the same tank, only for clean water. Another convenient detail is the automatic toilet lighting. So as not to use bright light, it illuminates the toilet with soft light and runs on batteries. In the main room, there is a kitchen, as well as overhead cabinets that are assembled on the same principle as regular cabinets. Roller blinds are installed on the windows, and manual opening and closing will be used to save on the budget. Chairs need to be purchased because making them yourself is not so simple. The only non-standard solution in this house is the kitchen hood. If a standard hood is used above the stove, it won't fit the interior design and may be difficult to securely mount. Additionally, such a hood will remove at least 200 cubic meters of air per hour from the house, which can lead to heat loss. There are built-in hoods with odor filters that clean the air and return it without heat loss, but they are very expensive, starting at $2,000. I made a similar hood for my house for $65. If you're interested in instructions on making a similar hood, please write in the comments, and I'll make a video for you. The house is ready, and its total cost is determined without considering the bus. Earlier, I mentioned that a bus can be bought in Poland for $3,000, but additional expenses for its maintenance, such as suspension and engine repairs, should be taken into account. Therefore, it is wrong to include these costs in this context. The, the total cost of materials is $13,750. The prices listed were valid at the time of creating this list in the Republic of Poland. High quality materials and tools were used in the calculation, but it is possible to save on some items. It should also be noted that the cost should be increased by 20 to 30% for the delivery of goods and possible unforeseen expenses. Thank you for your attention.